I just went ahead and got me a shipment of some irrigation emitters. So anyway, there are three different colors. This is 2.2 gallons an hour. The blue, the yellow are half a gallon an hour, and the black are one gallon an hour. Um, I had to go ahead and get these because I got some clogged emitters, the type that you get at Home Depot. They're the sealed type, and this type here I got, you could basically unscrew it like this. And there's a little diaphragm in there. Do you see that diaphragm? So when this is together and water's going through, a little sand or allergy gets stuck in there and it's not dripping, you could go ahead and unscrew it. You could clean off the diaphragm and you could clean off the inside and you could put it back together. And it should start dripping properly because there's nothing in there uh, restricting it. So I've been wanting these, ex um, except locally at Lowe's and locally at Home Depot. They only have the sealed type for home gardeners, and you can't unscrew them and clean them. So I went online, and I got these. They cost more money, but they're going to be a lot easier, because now I don't have to cut off the old emitter and put a new one on. I could just unscrew it wash it off, get out whatever was blocking it, put it back together, and I'm good to go. I don't even have to remove it from my drip irrigation line. So anyway, if you're doing drip irrigation, um, I would recommend these. I'll put the link below. Um, all of my watermelons, they get 2.2 gallons out of one of these and I put two of them on there one on each side of the plant so that's like four and a half gallons an hour all of my tomato plants get one gallon an hour and then my potted plants get a gallon an hour except I'm, I'm putting an emitter on this side and an emitter on that side they're half a gallon so that equals a gallon an hour this way this side of the pot doesn't get real wet and that side stays dry so I can water on both sides of the plant. So anyway, that works out good. I would do this for all my tomato plants and other plants with a double, but I just have so many plants that I would need so many emitters that it's just easy to use the one gallon an hour. So as you can tell, I got hundreds of all these. I got my work cut out for me. I'm going to go ahead and wait for a drier and cooler day to go out there. I'm sweating from just working in the yard today. So anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and run by you the differences in emitters. The ones at your local stores, they're solid. You can't take them apart. You can't clean them when they get clogged. You got to cut them off and throw them away. And they do have ones that you could just clean. I recommend these to anybody if you want to save time and trouble. All right. So anyway, this is Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. Hope you enjoyed.